Okay, let's say you have a previously printed book that you want to convert to an EPUB file and you want the EPUB file to actually generate the table of contents. Well, here are a few quick tips that you can do to help you on your way. Let's begin. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the actual cover of your book on the first page of what will be your EPUB file. For example, in this particular example, we have this image here. We replaced the uh, black and white title page with the actual cover image. And then the last thing you want to do, as far as pages are concerned, if you have, um, let's say, a blank page at the back of your book, uh, because typically your, your page one is on the right-hand side, and then, of course, the, uh, the back will be a, a left-hand page. So if you have something like that on your printed piece, you want to delete that back page. So you can go to your page palette, click on that page, and just delete it. So now all you have is live content going from the very beginning to the very end. Next up, you want to make sure that your table of contents and your headers and your footers, being your titles, and your page numbers are on a separate layer. All right, that's what I call my uh, my header footer hack, if you will. So uh, as far as your, you can select the table of contents, you can go up to your layers, and you can make sure that it's on its own layer. And I already put it there. And then of course you can go to your your parent pages or your master pages. All right, and make sure that your titles. All right, or your headers and your footers, being your page numbers, are also on the uh, on their own separate layer. Reason for that is because what we're going to do is when we actually uh, generate the EPUB file, we're going to click off on that so that, as you can see, there the header disappears, the footers disappear, and most importantly, the table of content disappears. So make sure you have your headers and your footer and your table of contents on its own layer so that you can turn them off or click off on the little eyeball so that uh, when you generate it, these items will not appear. Okay, so what we're going to do now, lastly, is we are actually going to generate the EPUB file. But before we do that, I want to show you something. Um, when I when I bring up the contents, the table of contents that we're hiding for this EPUB file, I wanted to show you that if you notice, the style for our table of contents, and I'll pull up the paragraph style right here, is it's body, it's called TLC body text. All right. That's going to be the style that's being used in the printed table of contents. And if I go down to the actual style of the actual um, <clears throat> chapter break, it's called chapter. All right. So that's the style that's being used chapter. But if you notice right above it, there's something that says graphic. And that's this graphic right here. Now, the style right here is a, is a TLC body text, but there's no graphic there. Now, this is going to be important because when we actually export the, e, uh, the EPUB, we're going to do something a little different, and I will, I will explain. All right, so now what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to hide this, and then I'm going to go up to File, drop down to Export, and we're going to say, we're going to export as EPUB reflowable. So we'll say OK. Now, right here, this dialog box, very, very important. We can keep the EPUB 2.0.1. We want to rasterize that first page because that's our actual uh, cover. Then where it says navigation TLC, multi-level TLC style, that's going to be the option we're going to use. We're going to keep the default TLC style as default. All right, and now where it says here order, we're going to say keep it based on page layout. Where it says split document is the key. You would think we would say chapter, but no, we want to split it at graphic. All right, so we're going to have graphic. So it's in this particular layout, we have the EPUB 
rasterize, multi-level default page based on page layout, and then we're going to split the page at the graphic. So we'll say OK. Now I'm on the Mac side. Uh, if you're working uh, on an Apple device, it'll automatically open your EPUB file in an application called Books. So now I'm here at Books, and if you notice, if I mouse over at the top, you'll see that we have these items right here. The first item, that's your, that's your table of contents. Click on that, and as you can see, here is our table of contents. And when I click on one of the uh, chapters, we're breaking them at the graphic, not at the actual chapter ca character style, at the graphic. So we come here again, I'll say background, background, and it's breaking it at the graphic. So, uh, and then of course, if I were to narrow it, you know, these the page numbers are gonna change because it's reflowable. But the main thing is we want to break it at that graphic so it actually mirrors the printed document. So uh, that's how basically you can generate an EPUB file from an, exi an existing file that you may have created for your print uh, book, uh, but you can very easily convert that to an EPUB file. Hopefully that helps.